So you hear me call out forward, back, left, right, and I would mix that up in no, no order whatsoever. Uh, sometimes I'd have these guys, I'd call out left, left, left three or four times, forward, right, I'd have them drop to the ground in a, in a squat thrust and come back up again. What that does is it sharpens their skills and their reaction time. And I think that's just fantastic for a quarterback because he gets his feet under him, he hears, he observes, and he moves at the same time. And, and that's what, and he, he did that extremely well. It, what's nice about that, that's an observation for us, uh, us coaches. We get to watch someone who has the confidence, who looks at another guy, or did he hear what I said? Did he hear me say left? Or is he relying on the other guy to move and I observe him move? No, he heard me. Coaching points on the ropes, if I see someone pulling on those ropes when I'm asking for slack in the rope, I know that that person is not confident in the ability to make that happen, make that pattern, that wave pattern, go all the way to the length of the rope. So what they'll do to cheat it, and everyone does is they'll pull on it. So the guy that steps up, puts that slack in, and gives it 100% effort, that's a guy with confidence. And I see that throughout the entire, the entire training, but I also see that on the field. We go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Some people say Tabata, you've heard of Tabata. You know, I tell people, do you know what Tabata is? And they say, well, it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I say, no, it's a Japanese scientist. That's really what, who Tabata is. It's, he's not, he's a guy, right? It is a protocol and it's a method of training. We use 20 seconds for the precision of movement because in 20 seconds, you're gonna give me quality. In a minute, you'll break down after 20 or 30 seconds. You'll start looking around the room like, I I'm done, I I this is all I got. So I want the best amount of work, the best quality work in 20 seconds.